Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you are all doing well. It is Sunday, a Sunday that could potentially be a really great one because we are all waiting for the final decision of Angel Di Maria. Maybe at the moment as I am speaking and recording that video, Angel is maybe already on the phone with Federico, not Federico Bernardeschi, but Federico Ber Cherubini. Cherubini, Cherubini, let's see if Cherubini will finally have the answer of Di Maria, hopefully a yes, but it could also, also potentially be a no. We'll speak about that in the video but also four potential names that could make Allegri happy. He needs four names to build on top of the leaders. The leaders that we already have. Who are they? All the answers to your question will be talked about and revealed in that video. So put a maximum of likes, subscribe to the channel. We start after the intro. I already told you that I wanted to speak about four leaders. Actually, we have five leaders in the team. One that will be our new captain is Leonardo Bonucci, but four names that Juventus is already speaking about, like Andrea Agnelli said. He said Locatelli, Federico Chiesa, De Ligt and Vlaovic. Four that potentially are already leaders, sometimes already on the field individually, but they will have to grow to make that next step to not be only leaders individually, but also leaders from the team. They are young. They are beautiful, they are strong. Now we want to see them making that step, that step towards captaincy, not maybe with the armband on the arm, because that will be the one of Leonardo Bonucci, but the captain in the locker rooms. So let's see what will happen there. The good news is already you can see uh, Locatelli yesterday with family members or uh, friends. We don't know because they were from the back, but all of them remembering the beautiful shirts of 21-22, all of them with the number 27 of Locatelli. Hey, he's a Juventino. More than you, more than me. Locatelli is a Juventino and that's a really beautiful thing to start with from the players that we already have in our team but that's not all that we have to speak about because we have to speak about the new players like Gazzetta dello Sport is saying of course they are speaking about three stars Inter and they are putting always Inter on their front page something we are used to but then in small they are speaking about Juve and Di Maria we can close the deal in Ibiza why in Ibiza because uh, Di Maria at the moment as we are all waiting and we are all nervous Di Maria is in Ibiza with some ex teammates from Paris Saint-Germain. Will he give the answer yes or no? We don't know. Looking at the picture, look at, uh, looking at the beautiful swimming pools of Di Maria, maybe we'll have to wait a bit longer. But Sky Sport was saying yesterday evening, Di Maria, he promised to give his final answer on Sunday. Which Sunday? That's a big question, of course. Di Maria meeting in Ibiza. Cherubini could travel to Ibiza to meet the Argentinian player, like Andrea Agnelli did when he went to Greece to meet Chris Cristiano Ronaldo, not to talk about the details, but to sign the contract. And maybe Cherubini together with Arriva Bene, they will go with the contract saying, here, here it is, sign, and we take you back to Torino. Let's see and wait, because he could unlock the Kostic situation. We know that Kostic is around 20, 25 million. Juventus wants to go with 15 million. Saving on Di Maria can unlock the budget for Kostic. So two players in one waiting for Angel Di Maria. Hopefully we can go live a bit later today with a breaking news otherwise we will have to wait until tomorrow for a final answer of Angel Di Maria Tutto Sport is saying perché è così allegri why is he so happy why is he smiling like that speaking about um, uh, allegri because there are four names Di Maria Koulibaly also Zagnolo and Arnautovic on top of Paul Pogba that they already consider a player of Juventus pay attention he's smiling yes we are waiting for four players yes he he has met Cherubini in Italy, in Livorno, after meeting as a friend Campos in the beginning of the week. This time he was meeting Cherubini for a big update on the Mercato. Where are we on all these names? The first name I want to talk about is Koulibaly. Koulibaly, a real target of Juventus. Di Maria, we already spoke about. Napoli is scared. They are really scared at the moment because they are really scared to see Koulibaly after Higuain. Maybe they're 
strongest player of the last few years joining Juventus as well. They are really scared. They don't want it. I will tell you one thing. If Koulibaly is really becoming a Juve player, I will make a party because what a strong defender. Next to De Ligt, he can be phenomenal. Of course, it's not easy. It's not easy because Eurosport, punto it, uh, the Italian version of Eurosport, are reporting some words that Koulibaly said to his close friends in Napoli that he will never, never, never go to Juve. Do we have to believe Eurosport? Do we have to believe these kind of words? I am not sure. What is the possibility doing to the fact that Demiral brought some cash in? We have some money to invest, maybe with some players, maybe not. We will have to discover that. Koulibaly, it's difficult. It will be really difficult because we know how difficult it is to deal with De Laurentiis and Lotito in Italy. The possibility is still alive. Will it come to you or not? Today, I tell you 25%, but these 25%, they can increase with the following days let's see what will happen there you are always talking me about the wings and uh, you know if we are focusing on these players the vice vlaovic with arnautovic pogba di maria koulibaly all these names we probably have to pay attention on the wings and save some money there remaining with the one we have we still have one big doubt it, it is quadrado that tuzo sport is always saying will he stay will he not stay how long will he stay will in the end of days of mercato quadrado find a new team let's see if he's not feeling the trust anymore and then juventus could potentially go for molina at the moment there is no option for molina because we already have too many players maybe not the quality that you are expected but let's see what will happen there also if we are able to sell pellegrini maybe uh, Emerson Palmieri will come there. Is he a first choice player? Absolutely not, but we can't spend in one summer all the money to have a totally new team. So the one that will, the role that will be sacrificed is potentially on the wings. Maybe with some B players, maybe with Molina, if you sacrifice a Quadrado. Let's see what will happen there. One name that could leave Juventus is Arthur. One football is speaking about Arsenal. There are some papers are, who are saying that he could go to Roma with Zagnolo coming to Juve because Zagnolo is one of the four names that we didn't even mention that could make Allegri happy. A swap between Arthur and Zagnolo. I tell you the truth, I will not believe in even if it happened for real. Why? Because we know that Arthur has a salary that is over the standards of Roma. I don't see Arthur going there. Then everything can happen. Zagnolo Agnolo is still an objective of Juve. They are trying to find a way, maybe with a McKennie, maybe thanks to the fact that Rabiot could go to Manchester United, bringing 25 million euros. This is the price that Juve set for the Frenchman. At the moment, Allegri is still believing in Rabiot, but in Juventus, they are saying 25 million and he can go wherever he wants. Newcastle, Manchester United, bringing some cash and maybe investing that money for a Koulibaly, maybe for a Zagnolo. Let's see what will happen there. We have to follow it. Guys, to, uh, Corriere dello Sport was speaking about the Premier League on Abraham. Roma is saying, no, we don't want to. But then you see so many players like Mane, like uh, Nunes, like da da Darwin Nunes, like uh, um, Chuameni and so on that are going in other leagues. Why? Because Serie A has really difficulties and what are the difficulties if you see how long Renato Sanchez was linked with Milan Milan bid 10 million plus 5 bonus 3.5 contract salary salary for uh, Renato Sanchez with 1 million bonus and then you have a Paris Saint-Germain that is entering last minute giving 20 million to Lille with 5 million euro per season for the Portuguese player with some bonuses on top of that then it starts to be really difficult for the Italian teams to deal like Bremer Bremer that is already an Inter player virtually at least he has the agreement with Inter the problem is that Inter can't go to Torino because they are expecting 40 million they don't have the money if they are not selling someone else before that Italy is in a trouble they have a really difficult mercato you see it nothing is moving at the moment the only team that is doing more and more better not only because they won the conference league is Roma because Friedkin is putting there a beautiful plan in sportive result but also in terms of finance they are dreaming in big let's see what will happen there with Roma will they dream big 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 absolutely not 
lot, but better than they did in the last few seasons. Another team that can have potentially problems is Fiorentina with the really great and beautiful Italiano that at the moment he still didn't renew. He is a coach of Fiorentina, of course, but at the moment they are not speaking to each other for eventually extending. Will he stay there one more year? Will he go to another team? I was thinking, why not Paris Saint-Germain if they are not able to go for Zinedine Zinan that said no to Paris Saint-Germain? Why not Italiano? Who knows? You never know. I, I don't believe it myself, but you never know what can happen. Guys, that was it for the video of today. A short one. We are waiting for Di Maria. Maybe, and I hope that today we can go with a breaking news with Di Maria saying yes, and maybe swimming with Federico Garubini in the swimming pool. Thank you for following the channel, putting a maximum of like. Do it. Maximum of like, subscribing to the channel. Grazie. Forza. Juve.